Okay. So I'm going to show you something to make it a little easier. Uh, first we want to create a plane. And you can move it here. And I want it to be bigger. Okay, and then I'm going to add a texture to this. So I'm going to go here. And then... Okay. Click it. And then I want to material attributes. And then right here is it. And then I'm going to do color with a little box. Little box. There we go. And I'm going to scroll down somewhere. It should be here. I'm going to select file if I can find a file. Oh, file. This means it'll have the texture of whatever you want. And then I'm going to scroll down here. This is what you need. It takes it from like this, whatever directory you have. So I'm going to go to downloads. I want this image just because, and I want it to go to documents Maya. Copy, copy, copy. Documents. Somewhere. I need to clean this up. Maya projects. Default. Paste. So there it is, there it is there. I'm gonna close this. Click. That's it. Open. And then notice it doesn't show up here, but if I click this little gray thing, it shows it. Now, because on my image the background's transparent, this is transparent. But even if it was white, that's fine. I still have the object. So I did this so that I can then make a new object. You can click here. Or if you don't want to do that, uh, I like to do this cube and if you click the side you can add or subtract how many divisions it is so I'm gonna do yeah I like three and then normalize with height division with uh, I want five actually this is how big it is this is how many like vertices and stuff you're gonna get apply if you click apply it automatically creates it close and then I want this ah. now since this is getting the same attribute as this because it's like that same material I'm going to assign new material and assign it eh, a blend make it kinda shiny and so I can see it easier I'm gonna make it blue and then you can zoom in here. Now obviously this isn't a scale, so I'm going not that this one. Yeah, that looks better. Now this changes see it's like shiny. That's that material type. And so that I can see this on the bottom, I'm going to go to click it, the material. Uh, I can also change it here, so I'm going to make it a Lambert. I'm going to put the transparency down so I can see the lines right here when I start to edit it. And you can do it this view, but an easier way is if you go to panels, orthographic, top. And now I could do this however. Whoops, undo. 
I want. I'll start with K. So what I like to do is click, go to vertex. See, I can either like do that and move, move it. If I highlight it, I can move both of them. So I'm going to move them here. Right, and then, well, please. Here, right. I'll keep clicking on the other thing. You can lock that other layer if you need to. Right. And then I want to grab and then I can click here. And I like these, but if I want to just like move these, I can move them. To give me some more area to control. So then I want to take, actually, this one is going to go here, and this one's going to go here, and then I could also, ah, so now I can start, like, shaping it. If I wanted to take like these over here, move these two back. Yeah, so you can just like move it, and then if you want to go panels, perspective, perspective, and then if I want, to, I can also do face. And shift select. If you select it, it'll also get the ones on the other side. And then I want to. I believe that's extrude. No. Extrude. Always move it out a little bit. Extrude. I'm getting these extra vertexes here. Cool. That's all I want for now. And then top. Object view. I can get out of that. There we go. And then I want the vertex. And then I want uh, these two to go up. I have to keep these together. If they get mixed up, it can get a little nasty. Do that to be even. That's fine. And then I can like just drag this one out. Don't have to be perfect. Right. Crap. Mm. 
open it a little closer. Oh, I do want this here. This go here. These don't really matter, honestly. And yeah, that's how you would do that. You know, you just keep messing with it and going on. Yeah. And then if you go to panels perspective, there's the K. And then you just click here, number transparency up. There's a little K. Now, something you can also do, which can get a little tricky, is that you select it, uh, create. Not what I want to do. Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh. Surfaces. Well, anyway, there's a way to, um, add, add vertices and stuff, which can make stuff easy but complicated. But I just like doing it this way. It's fast, easy what have you so hope it helps if you have any questions let me know